So, with 25 seconds left, it looks like the Habs indeed are going to lose this one. As we said the entire time, Allen has been very good. He made, what, 31 saves on the night? 31 very beautiful saves, breakaways, wraparounds, open net wraparounds. Allen's been very good. Markstrom, on the other hand, though, has been very good, too. Markstrom's in a position where he had to make so many saves out here. 37 shots against for the Montreal Canadiens here. Or, excuse me, 37 shots for for the Montreal Canadiens. Markstrom with 5 seconds left. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yeah, that's it. He stopped all of them. Jacob Markstrom with his second Calgary Flames shutout. This guy comes alive on the big nights here, baby. And he ends the Montreal Canadiens win streak. The gap between Calgary, Vancouver, it's getting a little bit tighter here with this win here by the Flames. But for the Habs, man, you got to take a look at a few things in this game. First off, yes, I get it. Kulak had an interference penalty at the very beginning of the game, which led to the Johnny Gaudreau goal. I'll I say that. But, oh, Connor McDavid just scored in overtime. Whoa, what a goal. Connor McDavid from Dreisaitl. Beautiful play. The Oilers just win. That's a goal there for Connor McDavid. Anyways... The Calgary Flames kind of stopped playing well towards the middle part of the game, and Jake Markstrom had to bail them out a few times. Towards the end, though, the Habs are getting a lot of really good chances, but we saw a lot of what we saw throughout this entire game with Montreal, which was shots over the goal, shots off the bar, shots directly into the chest of Jacob Markstrom. They were looking for a few fancy tips out in front. The best chance came off of a Thomas Tatar sweep in front, where he just had the chance to shoot it into the open cage, but it barely ticked off the side of his stick. Again, we said it the entire time, man. You gotta be good to be lucky. You gotta be lucky to be good. You could say that Markstrom got a bit lucky there, but man, this guy was an absolute workhorse today. Making 37 stops on the night here. Oh, look at the replay here on the McDavid goal. That's a perfect cross crease. That's NHL 21 Hockey Ultimate Team style, baby. Beautiful feed from Leon Dreisaitl. But... As for the Canadians, though, their win streak comes to an end. Suzuki's point streak comes to an end. It's Mikhail Backlund and Johnny Gaudreau ultimately with the goals here. You can see the shots right there, man. 33 for Calgary, 37 for Montreal. The Habs played well for the most part. They just couldn't buy a goal. They really couldn't, man. You gotta give it to Markstrom. You gotta give it to, uh, to the Flames' defense for not cracking. And you got to talk about some of the other things that happened here, too. Anderson, Josh Anderson, allegedly taken out because he, he blocked a Shea Weber shot. Again, I didn't see what happened with Anderson, but that's what the chat here has been saying, that it was a Shea Weber shot block that led to this. You had yourselves caught Kanyemi who left for a little bit, the 15-minute concussion protocol, because he got absolutely rocked by uh, Dylan Dubé. And I said it when it happened, man, but... I don't know if that was malicious. I don't think that's going to be reviewed because, it, to me, it looked like the principal point of contact was over here, but because Kakinyemi turned around and he was like looking down a little bit, his head happened to be there. That's kind of how I saw it. I don't really think there's going to be any consequences for that, especially because the Myers hit didn't have any consequences either. I think the NHL uh, um, Department of Player Safety is not really going to go super deep with the Dubé hit. That's what I think, personally. Things could change. Obviously, I could be wrong. But to me, uh, Kotkaniemi just kind of was in a weird spot as he ended up getting hit, which kind of led to that weird uh, outcome. But he had to leave the game for a little bit. He did come back. He had a few really good chances. Some of those chances got blocked, too. Like, the Lekkanen, um bounce right in front where it looked like he blocked the rush shot. But the Habs looked good at, at certain moments, man. Their power play was kind of clicking. Other times, it wasn't all too great. It was inconsistent at best, but when they were on, they were on. And we got bailed out by Jacob Markstrom a few times on the Calgary side, too. But, uh, yeah, wrapping things up here, the Montreal Canadiens have lost their very first game in regulation. Comes off of the back of a Jacob Markstrom shutout. And at the end of the day, you know, that's hockey. Calgary fans, you should be very happy about this win. You guys ended up squeaking two past the Montreal Canadiens, and you held on. That's it. You held on the entire rest of the way through. So, 
take care of Jacob Markstrom, please. That's just kind of what I'm saying. We had a lot of Calgary fans here in the chat saying, oh, thank you, Vancouver, for Markstrom. Thank you, Jim Benning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I liked Jacob Markstrom's game tonight. I liked Chris Tanev today, too. The guy made so many very good defensive shutdown plays to steer away the Montreal offense, blocking the passing lanes, blocking shots. He did a very good job today. This was a game where Calgary Flames fans saw the value in what Vancouver Canucks fans saw in Markstrom and Tanev the entire few years they were here and in their primes together. Are they overpaid? I'm going to say so. In the next few years, you could definitely say there might be some problems with those contracts, but for what you have right now in Calgary, for a team that wants to win now, you might have to trade away a Sam Bennett to get a piece back that can help you win now, but you guys are out there using the assets that you acquired very, very well. Josh Levo also looked great, too. He had a breakaway, but he missed, but... You know, he looked fine today. He was on that penalty-killing shift where the Habs were absolutely going ham. But, you know... Or, excuse me, not penalty-killing. That six-on-five uh, empty net shift. But, yeah. Calgary played a good game. Montreal played a good game. Montreal squeaks out with a few uh, shots that don't go in. That barely don't go in. Calgary squeaks out with a few goals that do go in. So, ultimately, it's a 2 nothing hockey game. I'm recording a video right now, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me in the comments what you thought about this Habs and Flames game. So without Schultz and I, and I'm not going to end the stream here yet, just got, just yet, guys. But yes, the video is ending here soon, and bye.